ARVs or endogenous retroviruses are widely used as proof that we evolved from apes. But what exactly is an ARV and why does it prove evolution? Evolutionists say that retroviruses inserted genetic material, an ARV, into our ape ancestors. Because we and chimps are closely related, we should have ARVs in similar positions. We do, and since it is highly unlikely that we and chimps accumulated all these genetic sequences in exactly the same points, we must be related. And this proves we evolved. Not really. If ERVs are found to have function, then it is highly unlikely that they were inserted by retroviruses. Why is this? Functional ERVs would depend heavily on their position and their sequence. If they were positioned slightly wrong, or they had the wrong sequence, they wouldn't be functional. Here's the crux. Viruses do not randomly insert tens of thousands of ERVs, which just happen to be in exactly the right location, and having the right sequence to perform some valuable function. So, no ERV should have function, but there is increasing evidence that ERVs do have function. In fact, they aid transcription in a fifth of the genome. This is strong evidence that ERVs weren't the product of retroviruses. But there is more. There are cell processes designed to weed out harmful or viral infected genes. This can be called apoptosis. Why, after millions of years, do we still have so many viral infected ERV cells? Apoptosis should have ridden them long ago, but apparently it hasn't done anything at all. Again, this shows how unlikely it is that ERVs were inserted at random by retroviruses. And so the argument from ERVs goes up in smoke. But why are ERVs in such similar places in humans and chimps? This is due to the overall similarity between humans and chimps, which is about 90 to 95%. God did not make ARVs to look like evidence for evolution, as some have mockingly suggested. They were created with a purpose, and they no less prove evolution than they do creation. Yeah.